you know, when you talk about just Sandusky in general, like it, it is, there's something about that area. I don't know what it, again, again, with me, I had that same connection to Sandusky and that whole area, Jay. And it's just something about it. Like me and my friends would kind of go up there to get away. We call it the cottage. That's what you, his place. And it, it was, we did it so many times, probably a hundred times during high school. We were, yeah. we were up there all the time, Jay. And his parents didn't want to know about it. We were partying half the time, but that's a whole different story. <laughs> but, but it was, that's what the, that's what the Chasse was for. That's me. what it was for. No, I, exactly. I, I had a lot of fun um, attending bonfires on that beach. Yes. Yes. In, in we the do that all the summers time. of my youth. Yeah. Yes. In the summers oh. of my youth. So trust me, I could talk about time. that for hours. I, I just, it was just the greatest time. <laughs> and just to go up there and you felt like you're a million miles away. You felt like you're, I felt like I was on vacation, even though I was only 45 minutes away from where I grew up. We had this beautiful amusement park down the street, number one in the world. You know, we had the, these beaches, you have the boats, jet skis. I mean, it was just really cool. Then you add in the islands and everything else. Again, it just felt very, it was just a very different feeling up there. And I, I to this day, I still feel that feeling when I go up there. So it's, well, uh, it's it, funny you said that because my wife, who's from Chardon, um, she wasn't a boater. She didn't grow up a boater. So she really wasn't sure what to expect. But one of the things that I really wanted, the reason, one of the big reasons I wanted to move to Cleveland was I wanted to be near the sports teams. I wanted to live in the area where I'd spent, you know, my youth and have so many great memories. And I also wanted to get a boat and I wanted to spend a lot of time on the water and on the islands. And I wasn't sure, and nor was she, um, how my wife would take to that because she had never done it. She, did, she, she wasn't, you know, familiar with the boater life. Um, I was hopeful that she would like it as much as I did, but she actually loves it more than I do now. Really? I mean, she, she just can't wait to get there on Friday and she hates to leave on Sunday night. And so do I, but what's crazy is um, she always says the same thing. Like a lot of nights we'll be sitting out. We keep our boat at the yacht club and it's got a beautiful view of the bay. And, you know, so many nights we'll just be sitting there listening to music or enjoying a drink or whatever, looking at the view and she always says, I, I love it here so much because I just feel like I'm on vacation. Even though home is an hour and 15 minutes away, I just, you just feel like, you know, it's, it's a, it, that like you're at a resort, like you're, you know, uh, and the weather in the summer is so great. We have the best sunsets in the world. I mean, my God, it's just one after another. The sunsets are so beautiful. And, and, um, it's kind of a, it's funny, it's a hidden secret, but it, the secret I believe is getting out.